about God several times. God, you're not going to see God that is in space like this. God is in each one of us. Many times there are people in church. God has come and sat in our churches, in our homes through people. And we mistreat people. <laughs> and God lives. Many times God has spoken to our pastors through people. And because these pastors have it in their mindset, they are the leaders, so it's only them with an the ear. And now the season is bad. Why do I repeat myself? The Lord told me to repeat myself because we don't share these classes. And things are happening to people. And people are just dying when they don't know why things are happening. Now for them, they are blaming it on the president. Each country is blaming their own president. That whatever is happening to them, it is the president. It is not the president. It is all of us. God speaks and we hinder God. It has nothing to do with presidents. God has been speaking for 38 years. Some of your pastors know, but they've chose to keep a deaf ear. And things are unfolding and failing every day. But when you choose Christ's guidance, you will also be able to see what's going on and why it's happening. But if you're waiting for your pastor to tell you what is happening, they also get them in social media. They no longer get it straight from the Lord. Then others have a habit when something happens, then they start posting for things. Hey, you see our pastor said this and this and this and I'm like. <laughs> now it's about who said what when way at this juncture. Do we need that? Okay. Choosing your goals with Christ's help ensures that you can live with a clear conscience. It will bring joy, confidence, and enthusiasm into your life. Striving to reach your goal then becomes just as joyful as its attainment. If you walk the path of life in the light of God, the whole journey becomes a joyous experience. Trust me, after understanding the assignments, I no longer struggle. I strategize and laugh and continue and life. Shoo. That is me for you. That is Esther for you. Okay, open your Bible, the scripture. What time is it? Second Corinthians Second Corinthians chapter two. I'll start from verse one, but I made up my mind not to grieve you with another painful visit. For if I cause you grief by a well deserved rebuke, who then provides me enjoyment but the very one whom I have made sad? And I wrote this same thing to you, so that when I come, when I came, I would not be filled with sorrow by those who ought to make me glad. For I trusted in you and felt confident that my joy would be shared by all of you. For I wrote to you out of great distress and with an anguished heart. And with many tears, not to cause you sorrow, but to make you realize 
the overflowing love which I have specific, especially for you. Verses 5. But if someone has caused all this sorrow, he has caused it not to me, but in some degree not to put it too severely. He has distressed and grieved all of you for such a one this punishment by the majority is sufficient so instead of further rebuke now you should rather graciously forgive and comfort and encourage him to keep him from being overwhelmed by excessive sorrow cutting verse 8 therefore i urge you to re reinstate him hmm? in your affections and reaffirm your love for him hmm? for this was my purpose in writing to see if you would stand the test whether you are obedient and committed to following my instruction in all things if you forgive another uh, anyone anything i to forgive that one that and what i have forgiven if I have forgiven anything, has been for your sake. In the presence of and with the approval of Christ, to keep certain from taking advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his schemes. Unfortunately, we are. Some of us have failed to forgive. What we say, but we forgive, forget, and we move on. Mukwan, people have not forgiven for years. They are still struggling. When you forgive, it takes time. Even now, our fathers and spiritual fathers and mothers in the nation, some are still struggling with forgiveness. The big leaders are struggling. And now for those ones, for them, they show you. Those who don't know Christ, they show you. The way we have never forgiven Abazungu. And we are still doing the same thing even today. People open up companies in Bunu. They are taking people abroad. And the people become slaves. When there are people who are getting money from home, they wake up, sit in the office, and say they are busy working when they are doing human trafficking. Then they say you cannot get out of the chiyumba. People are dying in people's houses. I was at him. Rajimu vaya mu chiyumba. Rajimu vaya mu chiyumba. Kati mkuwa na mugume. Oluvanga mule kana. Government ya tuyambe. Government ya tuyambe. Nga government tena vayo. I want the company owners to come out you cannot blame the president for our misfortunes i get my money the president of uganda did not see me leave of course at the airport immigration knows that i'm out of the country unless or otherwise because me i did not run i used the airport the government of the u.s knows that i am here and i have documents if anything goes wrong here, I cannot start going on social media. Government to yam. Government to yam. Esther, you overstayed. You overstayed. Esther, you overstayed. It was your follow tea. You were given six months. You overstayed and you got caught off guard. I cannot be blaming the president of Uganda. I hear government, government, they were not there. How I even got the green card, they don't know. Because even those who helped me to get it, who applied for me, don't know how I escaped their plan. They said I will not come. They did not know that the girl they are talking about, my coming to the U.S. was already in God's plan. I was supposed to travel. The Lord told me about traveling. I did not even know the country. But my heart had the UK. My heart did not have an 
My dream was never America. My dream is the London. London is burning. London is burning. Is it London or London? My <laughs> sent I've never dreamt of coming here. Muviendo techo techiri msagara kubali mba. But omkama katonda wangea, orugendo ye yali alumani. Ngalaba when I come here, emili mtu judge kwa asa gani. Negwe no vera o, nange nchaka, nange mambi mundete kama Amerika, mkwano. Nza sikenda kule eta katonda reambuza, abovole eta nza nabaku gamba. Nze, are your best options in vaku? Nze, mnanga abantu vanyigira. E mikwano nejinyiga, nengamba vana. Kwe gamba vuri agende vuri mnafu na mpapula vama kwa zisanga opportunity. E viange mkwano, bovo vya gala. Kankula deje mba kusindika. Ovo vya gala kubifu na sagala chichirekecho. Kankusindika wano mnangu. Ogendo wele nembe na vyo. Osorio konyi. Engeli jonyi gira sigo nzala. Sigo mama wange, sigo tata wange, sigo waganda wange. Onyi gira kuhochi. Mwe wamo wemba wemu te wemu kumpanya. Mwemu kumpanya nza si kumpanya. Aaa, ah, echafe chiri mwyesu. Nze mm. mnange wawo ya gala kuwele nemba ni green card jeni na wano. Bobo no sobolo kule mimu jamu kama jangu nkuwa sevulu unji. Chiva chitono nyo nze mba nkuwa saa. Mwabaga le mpapula. Nzo mami agenda kumpa sasi nze mwasa. Because tampa salu wa mpapula, ampa salu wa kuba mwagala na ya njagala, ndiru vidi izirwe. Nza siri air ticket. Mwabaga lo kubela air ticket kajambu. E munage kambere no neyesu wange ye yandeta. E Baga amba titeba sola na kunya amba inikesi. Nenga amba hii. Green card ingere samanji. <laughs> Nenga amba mkwano. Naja kwa assignment. Sole mwagu wa mgapu. Anti kwe kiridanya. Temu ate gira lugendo. <laughs> o oh, chitege datebe. Tetuwa gala tuvi ogereko. Chokanga wa ntuvo ngero kufunda. Atenga wali mkanisa. Unfortunately, di mwana wa mkade wa kanisa. Muna asonyu wa mwana tukayala. Nse sige nda kore la sita ni kusanyu sa mwana wa mtu chizibu. E chituku vya Uganda kusanyu sa wana wa mtu and we don't obey instructions. Enjoy the sugar level of raising the money and the bush and the rice and the beans. Everything is now very expensive. Why? Because we have failed to listen. Mucha kubabu mtu. Checho manatu. Good. Verse 9, Gambia, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. For this was my purpose in writing, to see if you would stand that test. Manatu, I had to stand that test. The test was beyond imagination. I cried my eyes out. Nenswala swala, ngabanteba manyisa idi yange. Nenswala wone nsidika, I protected people and I covered them. Then the season came and the Lord said, you cannot cover anyone anymore. I am tired of the sin. Nangamba, I sent you to clear the ground. That is how you serve me. I send the instructions. Your part is to make sure you implement as instructed. Nangamba mananga, nangana, I fell sick. Nze ngambera mruwadi. Nengamba apana sijuye. Nengamba, nanga wakala kumera mula muko la chengu gamba. Nengamba kare febo. Ne, kati orono nkore eh, eh, viyamu kama vya gare mikwano nejikendera. Hava sumba nivacha, wava mblokinga, nivava mblokinga. Nengamba haa, nga nturugudemu. E, mikwano nga jikendera. Desi nze nja gara avandu. Nengamba vani. Now, <laughs> as of now, I am happy. Joy comes in the morning. Kwa my name is also Gano Gala Greenicard.
Nengamba no green card si yangu ya mukama nzasi zani na mchinto cha mukama budi aje simba mwa kubwa. Nengamba esta tu gende mnanga my solution ya dawa sumba waga manti no bi. Nengamba tu gende my solution yesu ya manyova na gua. Ama sumba wati ya isolation imuli mo kugwa. Nengamba tete wali chakola teje vansindi. Seka tuvere ya tena kola chimukama jia ya gala. Mukama na ayamba. <laughs> Nengamba tugule mukama na ayamba. Muna nge mwete mgena mwa isolation imuji ya kuba. Nza nkubu ulidambi nyo. Yo waka mind start to move. Sitani ya kutega wabunye wanzo wabunye wabuanteze mwa isolation. Kwe mbu kubu ulidojia kubu ya budi. Where am I going? Going and I? I, I? Nengamba kuna ovu nyevu. Abala wabate zovu. Sitani ya te zovu nyevu. Esther, omsaja yinka nani chitangi. Amsinza ndoze miyaka. Tatu wanga msinza miyaka ndoze hili. Nengamba kiliza. Ngenda kuzayo kusomero. Nengamba ngatoko la. Naito ulido mtu yena. Omsaja mtu. Mwala wa mkula ini miaka na mwina. Nenko lani. Katinda wanwa ina ulichimba ini mpakula. Omlala na ngamba. Nze njaga la kompanyo. Ninga nda vila chitao. Nenko lani. Kati ni wata andiko kuruwana. Kati yoleo msajwa mkuru na agenda na agama. Manti sako zange. Oblambu wange is home and work. Because church is very far. Kati yate church uwe wagova. Eee ene guja wagi. I have to go to another state. To go for church. As I don't have church in me. Mwana wa chitangi. Amerika siwa jaja u. Nze jembera. Amerika siya jaja u. Waliwe kanisa moi ingira sitani na wakwa anilizi. Eze itezawa loko. Sitani ya jakwa anilizi. Sima njo nada. Eka mkwa nogenda yo safe. Wano mwa Amerika yo not safe. Neza wa loko lewe mumanyi. Murawe duka. I know them very well. Hapa singa tiba wele za mkamu. Bali irigo. Bayo nuna maso ga mkamu. Sigenda for poison. Nga mwure ingira mwure. Be kweka. Gweto wa manyi. Kuvitutye wa mwe Uganda balo kukanyo. Enu wa ine mpise mbi. Nechalo chiva kubide nduru mana. Ndeka mana ndeka. Teba va mwuru gambo. Umusuma natavule kanisa naba. Natavule ya mstete mwavira. Natavule ya mstete dako. Buli state ni wa mwuru. Era kuni ngamba anize. Ngende ngende mwgeye na nganda. Wa mwuru. Ewe vya nkubia chivo kondeka mwana tundeka tenti tenti ya lienzi talo hava sumba ndeka. Murawe duka. Eee. Nze mloko lienze kama omgenzi msumba jowe wa ya gamba. Ya vila ngele wa msumba tomgalo. Nga ye msumba kuchitu chinga kumina kwa senta vila mtoi. Msumba ngatula mtoi. Ah kukua tenga to flash inze kukua. Udoti joko. Ewa pasta tomu ya viranga kuchituti. Jwa wenga asaba nunga tulikuchi. Kumila kwa senta nga vira mutoyo. Nga tula wali kumuliango kutoyo. Vanga kuyesu. Na kukwata. You go in the bathroom and you don't flush. You misuse the toilet paper. You just throw it everywhere. Then you pour water everywhere. You have to mop it before you go back to the service. Udoti joko. Kumila kwa senta misses that woman. Woman a god. Uba woman a god. We muli naka tevali emo. Oli yali woman a god plus. Eh. Pastor Joy. Atuke wa musumba tomo. Mulokole. Sagalo zivirize o zivirize o. O gweri mbu na o simanyo moya kugude konyo. Enza o jiteke mungwa wa. Enga tozi tule ko. Gwe mulokole we kawano. Ya nangi tuwa nyimiru wa musumba tomo. Mkama kuwa mchisa. Ha ha ha. Nga tutula kubiwe mpe. Omkazo yunga kumala mwe tumba. Ya fanyo kufa kuno kuzivu mayana.
Ewa Pastor Robert ngatura moto ngaziba clean 24-7. Gusande, ngayambala uniform yabo yaba asha na atura wali mkatewe. Na jayo kamira. Asoka na atevele chisike. Yari kukura make up tomza nyira. Mkama yeba sibwe. Bofru matoi, kastofru mavoti nga imo kakate. Nga alingiza. Ngochua liye yombo na wangaro, weke vera momira, weke vera kevera. <laughs> nga jaku zayo, don't joko. Because echo chifo chikuru, toilet chifo cha muendo. Na ego no vite gerira wata kule environmental engineering. Kankwere kereze mana. Engeri joba nga Man, no, you mean that cutting you don't have toilet etiquette. You don't flush after yourself. Era no lambo we bully. Mama need a cause a cop balloon goes. I can't take a man you flushing a toilet. Catcana so like a yako bonded a mate. Cover some of your nakuana, but metrons you in trouble. I respect teachers. Kuwango wana uja kusomero, teka manji poti, tra poti training, teka chayambala pampa, hakana teka manji kosa toilet paper, buno wana buku wata mune, buku wata kuchisenge. Iva nangi ya mazote. <laughs> Nye mpisa za wabana kuzifana. Omana kwa wata wati ya mabiga na teka kuchisenge. Kati wazaji ya wakuru na wakazi wakuru. Evi ogenda kuhida vanga. Character ni wani. Ujakula baba na baba wandi kakubisenge mtoy. Tewa manji kwa satoy de jpe. Elabo mtu kakono mtu, no mtu la kumbi. Bokse unyo msuru. <laughs> Buatula party together. Mga mzei kakani. Verses 12. Second Corinthians chapter 2 verses 12. Jova. It determines your destiny. The only thing that is going to change is the prayer lifestyle. <laughs> Mama we are gamba te tu gaba. Naka na te kagaba. <laughs> Bia kuka kwata. Bia kuka siwa. Ate kati boys. Kansu kwen kwate mu boys one. Boys, you have your friends. Sometimes your friends spend the night. Your friends have rotten boxers. Boys, really, don't you have money to help your friend buy the right boxers? And actually, they are not boys, they are men. You walk with a friend, they have a rotten bra. Because we shower and put our things in your bathrooms. Yes, I'm a victim. I shower from people's homes and I leave my, my panties everywhere. Someone who really loves you and they're your friend. They will sell it. They will not, they will not do it kuswaza. They will go as if they're shopping on their own. They will shop theirs and shop for you too. That is someone who loves you. But boys, all they do is to hang around Go do their drinking, go for their dance things. But mkwano, ngavani ba ina boxers in chafu, ba ina bu vest of chafu. Avana avalins, banange parents, mothers of boys, mutu yambe to be guided. Omana muigiri zokwe yoleza boxer, ne vest. Again, oksanga galo, zinga nete ba muigiri zakuoza. Musei vestize zigube ne boxers. Omana mkwati. Ebe bia muo zambu mwina washing machine. How sure are you? Chomana woyo. Mumasa anaso bolo kugula washing machine inga. Gwenseno jirabe bulavi. Katonda ya manyi. Nze nakulileri inga tuko ze sangalo. Nenge ndo kufe Uganda nga. Ndavyo ku washing machine. Siji sanga wano. Teach your children. Get a day, mama, tata. And you said today is clothing day, washing day. 
get all the small as why are we talking about the undergarments that is your spiritual life because no one sees it apart from the lord no one is supposed to see your underwear but girls of these days Girls of these days make us see their underwear. Is it right? It is their fashion. They just raised you wrong. You're raised wrong. The right way. We are not supposed to see your underwear. That is your spiritual life. You're copying things from abroad and they are all wrong. We are not supposed to see your underwear. That is your private life. And the way you're making us see your underwear is that how you, that is how you're putting your entire life out there. You're making us see your boobs and bras. That is your, your private wing. Your boobs are supposed to be seen by your children and your husband. We are not supposed to see your boobs. That is your spiritual life. You've allowed everyone to tap into your spiritual life. Now it is rotten. I was hoping could unbutton your panties and see what color underwear you have on. I pray and pray for this to help me have a big, big finish. I'm trying to understand what, Walter, you have written. You have missed a few things. Like, it, I know you've written it as you've understood it. Can you try to make us understand what you're writing? Because if, okay, let me read it for you the way I've understood it. I was hoping could, who, you or me? Because I can put there, I was hoping, please could. <laughs> I, now you've confused me the more. Um, but I think I'm trying to understand what you're saying. I so I'm so very close. Finish, please. I don't know whether I'm getting you right, but the way I'm understanding this, it is something else. You want to unbutton your trousers, or you're asking me? <laughs> My dear, We need to go for deliverance. We need, we need, uh, we need help as people. <laughs> Your smiling is good. It's good. I used to work with a company called Smiling Light Acupuncture and my my boss said that smiling is good for business. I used to smile a lot. You do not know me that much. I got a facial paralysis and I stopped smiling. I hated smiling because I thought I am lame. It hit my, it hit my self-esteem. It took everything about me. Oh, Bambi. Don't worry, Walter. We will pray for you. Now I get your point. Don't you worry. God is good. First of all, we are going to, before you, I don't know whether you're married or not. Leaders out there, pastors out there, help people. 
people want need to go through deliverance and some people are open enough to say what they think some play with people's minds i always get people who want to play with how i think to see how i think they love testing me i normally do that when i'm off the groups i have people who love testing me and they end up eating their own words but if that's what you're going through may the lord help you walter you need help many many girls have undressed on social media and the altars as always in people's lives are rising and they are destroying and they are destroying their lives people need help people need to be prayed for pastors out there this is what is going on in churches and in people's lives you have to pray for people out there some people are isolated and they do a lot of things to calm down their egos because you need to understand what kind of spirit is seated in someone at a particular time some people control themselves some can't where are you going what direction are we taking Let's continue. Walter, you'll be fine. Don't you worry. We will pray for you. Um, now when I arrived at Taurus to preach the good news of Christ, even though a door of opportunity opened for me in the Lord, my spirit could not rest because I did not find my brother Titus there. So saying goodbye to them, I left for Macedonia. But thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us spreads and makes evident everywhere the sweet fragrance of the knowledge of him. For we are the sweet fragrance of Christ, which ascends to God, discernible both among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing to the latter one an aroma. Verse 14 is what I wanted. But thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ, and through us spreads and makes evident everywhere the sweet fragrance of the knowledge of him. Our topic was, where are you going? And your prayer life might, must be in position to impact in your history as it influences your destiny, where you grew up from nurtures you there are things you cannot say in public there are things you cannot do in public but it depends on where you grew up from where we grow up from influences our way of doing things there are people's lives whereby for them they just say anything at any time to you. It's about how they feel. It's about how they think. Verse 14 says, But thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ, and through us spreads and makes evident everywhere the sweet fragrance of the knowledge of Him. So we need Christ to lead us so that we say things at the right time, so that we do things that are in line with our destiny. Not everywhere you find, you say whatever you want because you want to say it. Parents raise your children right. First, understand the environment. If you don't understand the environment in which you're operating, ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. 
the kind of environment in which you are operating. The devil is, the season we are in, the devil is using anything and anyone at any time T. And they will do anything, anything to take you off the course. But if you're led, the Bible says that those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. You will be able to know what to say, when and how. How to help different people. Because you're going to have all these in your environment. How do you help them? Do we just ignore them? You who has understood Christ, how do you handle this? How do you deal with it? Verses 17, for we are not like many, acting like merchants, peddling God's word, short-changing. Before that, we stop, verse 14, then 15, for we are the sweet fragrance of Christ, which ascends to God, discernible both among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To the latter one, an aroma from death to death, a fatal, offensive odor, but to the other, an aroma from life to life, a vital fragrance, living and fresh, and who is adequate and sufficiently qualified, and who is adequate and sufficiently qualified for these things. Verse 17, for we are not like many, acting like merchants, peddling God's word, short-changing and adultering God's message, but from pure, uncompromised motives, as commissioned and sent from God. We speak his message in Christ in the sight of God. Yesterday night we were looking, we are continuing with your prayer life must be in position to impact change in your history as it influences your destiny. What I meant is your history influences your destiny if you're not careful. Your history is going to alter your destiny. When God creates you, you have a destiny. But history is going to alter your destiny. So you have to be careful. Ask God, who am I? What is my purpose? Going to school, studying, uh, studying marrying, those are things that are supposed to keep you busy in your life. But there is a destiny. Ask God, who am I? Who did you create? What is the purpose? What is the purpose? What is your purpose in life? When you're raising children, you have to look at your children. Who, who is this? It's not just a boy. It's not just a girl. God, the things you are today, they started when, you were, when you're not even yet in your mother's womb. Your parents is not a mistake. For you to be coming from that family, it is not a mistake. God knew that that is the family that can handle the kind of person you are. That is the family that can take you to the next level. It is now up to you when you are old enough, you, when you are of age, and you, you know the bad and the good, to start walking into that which God ordained. Many of us are not walking right in that which God wants us to do. That is why we are struggling so much. Whenever you are doing things that are not part of God's plan, you will struggle. Everything you will do will not work. And the other part, never forget, this earth, the devil has authority. And he also wants servants. So careful when you're working for the devil. Ask the Lord. Give your life to Christ. Let the Christ, because he's the author and the finisher of your faith. When not, the day you're going to die, he knows. And there are some people, because when your relationship is worked on with Christ, God is going to warn you about the day you're going to die. 
I have seen people God telling them that get ready, I am coming for you. In the Bible, we have a, a king called Hezekiah. He became a king at 25. And the Lord sent a prophet to tell him that I am taking you anytime soon. And it was upon Hezekiah to, to refute the words he was told or to adhere to what he was being told. Many times, warnings have come for us in the season and we don't pay attention until when someone falls a victim. When I came out in 2020, I warned people. I told people what's going on. I told them that there is blood crying. And it started with the Muganda. All those things are going to come out in the season. And when we don't listen, God will... It's a prophecy. God sent different repairs. God sent this man. In 95. And before that, God had already spoken 10 years. Because Uganda is not listening... God has been sending people to us. Now God is using his very own. The very people you know, but you don't listen. It is now 38 years. And we are still looking as if there is no tomorrow. And things are becoming worse daily. Things are bad. Trust me, I know. Because God told me, in 2020 and I came out to warn but we never listened and I'm not the type who is going to be posting and saying never gamba one ah ah go back if you want to know your pastors are doing that some are posting the days they said things if you have any of my writings I am a scriber approved by God he did that in 2015 when I was crying in May about the green card and the Lord told me, I have made you my a lead, I have made you a lead of my pen. And I told him, do you want people to throw me out? Do you want me, do you want people to throw me out? Because after, because he's like, I'm like, I'll be like a big pen. He's like, no, do you know a fountain pen? Of course I knew because Tata bought those pens when I was in primary school and the best thing I did was to drink the ink. <laughs> we, I used them but I would drink the ink. Because I found a kid at school and the kid said that the ink is sweet. So I, I, I love testing, testing. So I tested the ink to see whether it is sweet. Then the Lord told me, no. When it empties, I feel it like the fountain pen. And I'm like, okay. What are the classes you've come to are being watched all over the world? And I talk to leaders, including presidents, all over. It is either you stop typing or I block you. It is just a polite way of saying things. Please get off your high horse and sit down. And keep quiet. You're not the only one watching here. I don't collect numbers. That's why you see that I having only one. You'll have to go and sit for some IT lessons. And know how it works. It's not about the I having many people watching. Thank you so much. And I think you need help. Because if you're raised by a father and a mother, they taught you how to talk to people in public. Thank you. Stop typing. You see the devil uses anything at any time to you. I, I normally don't like being rude because being rude is not nice. But uh, let me help you, Walter. 
uh, let me go here and I look for your name and I block you for now until when you learn how to present yourself in public. Do -do -do. Timothy. Timothy. Hmm. I don't even have him in my friends list. Mm -mm -mm. Interesting. several and the name I'm seeing let me just give you a break for now let me finish my classes I'll sort you out don't you worry I'll help you because I think there is something wrong with you don't you worry okay I don't have uh, okay let me do this because I that's the only way I'll know what's going on with the human being that is making noise you have one friend's request you're not even my friend interesting okay are you sure you want to block Walter's Timothy? Yes. Sorry, but we have to go and do that. Thank you plenty. That is the joy of knowing how it works. Sorry, but I think... You know you love hiding in accounts. You, you have only one friend? Yes, that is it. When you work in the media, that is what you are supposed to do. When your pastor is teaching, your motivational speaker is teaching. Now Esther Solome has to do it herself. The joy of being doing the thing is by yourself, I tell you. Otherwise, let us continue. Yeah, we needed to sort that and, uh, and it gets out of the way. Yes, we have no, we don't have any business. This is not content building. Uh, you need help. You have friends there. They will help you. Help the police and the police helps you. Good. You help the police and the police helps you. Since you cannot help yourself, that is how it works. I don't have time to play games, my dear. People are dying. People don't have what to eat. Bambi, I have tolerated the person. Not so, so good. But it seems they were not raised right. That is the challenge we are having. I keep telling parents, these are things that are happening in our society. Some kids were not raised right. They just grew. Yes, I am in the disciplinary committee, sorry. I discipline everything and everyone around me. I don't have to wait for your parents to do it. I'll do it myself. I have sorted the problem. Good. Thank you plenty. Continue. That is how I sort problems. You have to have a mitigation measure, my friend. We have to do an EIA. It is an environmental management. 
environmental impact assessment. You assess the environment. I assessed the environment like this. And I watched and I read, paid attention. Then I saw that there was a problem and it needed sorting. When there is a problem, we sort it. How? By using the mitigation measures and implement. I have implemented. Good. Thank you, Plenty. Continue. Your prayer life must be in position to impact change in your history. Cause your history influences. Your history, comma, as it influences, as in your history influences your destiny. Careful out there. Romans 8, we stopped on verse 20. I am about to conclude. Don't you worry. You, there are things you're going through, but they are coming from your history. And you need to work on it. How do you work on it? By in changing your prayer life. Your personal relationship with God. Your personal relationship with God, if you don't work on it, most of us are living a life of a group. Your life is a group lifestyle. When you choose to live a life of a group, you're in trouble. When they sit on your family altars, they will attack you and things will grab you. I am telling you. So, help yourself to help others so that you don't fall a victim. I don't live a group lifestyle. I have very many friends, but I don't jump from where they jump. If they all want to get married, please go ahead. When my time comes, you'll attend my wedding if you're given an invitation card. My wedding is invite only. <laughs> my getting married is my business, not your business. I will not have wedding meetings. You don't have money. I, why do I have to make a big wedding? For what? Before I came here, when I was growing up, I used to tell people that I want, when I'm getting married, if you want to attend my wedding, have a, a passport and a visa. I did not know of which country. I used to say those things when I was young. Mana to Nichito Kiriti Rachel Kachijakobe. <laughs> but how will God take them out? My personal relationship. My prayer life. Omana wo mulaba ine bintu bya tani sokola buza mama wo buza kutata wo gambe na ye tata omana munange tumukuziza bulunji na omana mulaba abana abo babera bato no mulaba nga yeso mula somolo kasanga munsa wo yo kasitoda niko kula bo mwana munsa wo yo nga toba dewo atinga babagamba temkata msao ya mami alabo genze nka kwata ogendo kunonya sentezo nga tozira ba makeup wo to mulaba ngo omanya wali we chicham Boys, you have married girls who are thieves. Orumalanga gama ambu vyafe. Omu wala kwa toti ya mwaliti yomu saji angata kugambi. Galus. Waliti yomu wa mijivye kono sanga mkondo mno yomba. Galus. <laughs> Deno msaji ya kuwa sate umu manyi. Guma. Mkwano, sanyo kanyo woji sanga angamu. Sekuhuli. Na uchite geza that man cares about you. You are safe. Safe <laughs> You are safe. The covid. Oh, you babiji. Mama, phone bill. Baba said, "Ya go, mama, go and out and out there. Mugu mete mutu tabula." Okay, Romans eight. Talk me to verse twenty. Your prayer life must be in position to inf to impact change in your history because your history influences your destiny amanya ge baba wa ogena fubutkanga omuntu nanyini manyago yaye isawa to lokola befaya 
ati katonda ati omchala ya kuwa <laughs> te wamsabata ya veri mukama <laughs> ulokola bafaya nze munange bya matchmaking sibisobola i am honest please don't matchmake me eh eh sagala tunyiga gane sagala munango connecting ku chaliyo nga chaliyo akuba abakazi chaliyo yotakubanga ko mukazi ngo mulaba chaliyo agena aku angu anzi gunda gakonde manyo ko fuke ekirala sometimes <laughs> chaliyo agenda anku wenze sikuwa engome yange tekuwa Mm, atenze siri na munjolo ba mm, ate siri siri ngalabi ochitegete mm. oino kubanga omanyo kube ngome nnene eza fe Yesu yazirega mm. e wafe te bakuba bachala ne bonyi godam te bakuba bachala kubanga ekigambo muchala kitibwa ekigambo omwami kitibwa sinti nobo wasizza chitiwa okubane lero chitegere ekigambo mwami chitiwa obo wasizo munene waba nene <laughs> ekigambo muchala chitiwa e era bafumbo yonaje bali mbaita muchala mwami tata yatugano gama tata tata boy jino mama galo ya gamba echo tebachikole era muchala we bomuyitira obo yagaza tata anke mirembe yita muchala we linyali ange gamembo mama esto chakuleta problems awuli ah, rakati awuli ah, nasirika na gamba why cancel it neru linga chayo giranga vamu enda singa kugambo yo muchala wange si mama esto <laughs> ne ngamba afute kati kati abata tumanyi nyete yabale merako nefe bazala echo chiri era tubata ba mama aba mchala gundi mchala mkadde mkadde za kayo mkadde chitegeza high priest tata wange aweleza mchurch for 46 years nga mkadde wa church mm. aba bishop tata wange bishop for 46 years katonda ye amlonda ku 19 years of age and he has maintained his his ground till date now cotton Verses 20 of Romans 8. For the creation was subjected to frustration and futility, not willingly because of some intentional fault on its part, but by the will of him who subjected it in hope. That the creation itself will also be freed from its bondage to decay and gain entrance into the gracious freedom of the children of God. Verses 22. For we know that the whole creation was been, has been mourning together as in the pains of childbirth until now. You can read Jeremiah 12 verses 4 and Jeremiah 12 verses 11. Verses 23 of Romans 8. And not only this, but we too, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, a joyful indication of the blessings to come. Even we groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for the sign of our adoption as sons, the redemption and transformation of our body at the resurrection. You can read Second Corinthians 5 verses 2 and uh, 4, then Ephesians chapter 4 and verses 30. Verses 24, for in this hope we were saved by faith, but hope the object of which is seen, not hope. For who hopes for what he already sees? Let me read that again. For in this hope we were saved. Open bracket by faith, close the bracket. But hope, open the bracket, the object of, close the bracket, which is seen is not hope. For who hopes for, you know hope is a fruit of the Holy Spirit, right?
We are helping people who are not raised. I know they'll get someone to help them. Because those who work in the media respond to such people. But since this side we don't insult people because it's not part of our DNA, we sort them out. Because people think they're using social media the way they want. Your hope is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Let me go back to verse 23. And not only this, but we too, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, a joyful indication of the blessings to come, even we groan inwardly, as we wait eagerly for the sign of our adoption as sons, the redemption and transformation of our body at the resurrection. Unless you respect your body as the temple of the Holy Spirit, you're going to use it anyhow. You see, this body wants things. Today, we're going to buy a, a, a Louis Vuitton. Tomorrow, it will want a Gucci. The other day, it will want a Dolce and Gabbana. It wants. It wants. It wants. Oh, we have trends. I don't wear ripped jeans. To me, I So, I don't wear ripped jeans. I, as a person, I don't wear ripped jeans. To you, it's fashion. To me, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I choose what I put my body in or not. I, I'm not swayed by the trend. No, that is not my style. Why? I know who is on top of things on earth. If I want a cloth, my family members make clothes. And it is in our family. It started when, before we were even given birth. My grandmothers on both sides know how to make clothes. So my, in my, even before I go outside my father's house, my mother used to make clothes for us when we were growing up. Now my sister, it's in the blood. She went and studied industrial fine art. She sits on big platforms when it comes to that. God connected her to someone and God enlarged the camp. You see, you, you, have, you have it already in your life. But how do you nurture it so that it stays on course? My sister met with Kasule in school. But now, Kasule, us meeting Kasule, it's not school, it is church. The brother to, to his mother came to Kavua. So for us to meet Kasule, it was already in God's plan. Pastor Chaze, Bishop Chaze, is one of the people in our church that raised orphans. As a bishop, that is their part in life. He, he did not become a bishop when they ordained him, when he went and got the degrees. No, it was already in God's plan. Him becoming a bishop, it was in God's plan before he was given birth to. And he has been doing that. So for man to recognize Bishop Chaze, God already ordained him there. There is nothing that happens by chance, my friends. My sister to meet the different people we met, I told you, we meet because of children. My meeting you, your meeting me, is either going to help my children or your children, or it's going to destroy them. Now, the way I relate with you, the seeds I plant in your life, those seeds are going to be eaten by your own children. 
So be careful out there when you're planting your seeds as a parent. Because how can two people meet when they know what to do? When art is their thing? Because they went together to Mengo, the four years left Mengo. They all went to Rubiri. It's a big group of guys. And my sister was working in another place. Because after Rubiri, Kasule goes to Nairobi. My sister goes to Mok. Then Kasule came back because for him, his life was that because his own mother used to do that. It has not just started. You see some people who find us when we are old enough think we don't have a story. Some of us don't talk about ourselves and we don't put our lives out there the way celebrities do. For us, we are not celebrities. Our work is to serve the Lord and we raise other people. And in my family, every child that has no job, we try to help. I have talked to different people who have wives and ha they have no jobs. I recommend them and I'm like, go talk to my sister. She will teach you here and there. And she, ha she works with someone who is professional. They, now they are, because it is Kasule who told my sister to leave. The, she, my sister was working with a lady in interior design. They had a shop on Equatorio. And we got tired. It is the truth. I will not lie about it. People have to get the katondanga mwalo koka. Mwe gendele zenga mwaya ringa wana wana na mwe. Awa ina degrees. Mwe gendele zenga awa loko le mwono nye omulimu guamu kama because you don't behave nga awa loko le kumilimu jamwe. I will not keep quiet. E no kubitu uti mwefu lava lokole. Eri mu business za mwafu ke chidala. We all know that. Abana ababa koze sa. Abamu te musa sula. Abamu sa sulo vusento vutono. This is experience. You cannot have a company and you don't operate hey, the people that make you shine. Because when they work well, you as a leader, when your teams work well, all the credit goes to you. And it is up to you to recognize the people you work with. Things were not good. And Kasule told my sister, come and we sit here. At that time, Kasule was at Jemba. My sister was even scared to leave. I told her it is time. Enough is enough. We appreciate the lady. But uh, people who are employing people, you have a company, you have to change. Because when I enter there, many of your so-called women are guard in town and men are guard in town. God left your companies long time ago. And some of you are into witchcraft. People complain. People are going through a hard time because of their workplaces. And what is so annoying and very ashamed is when a company is owned by someone who knows God. The president stopped hiring people who know Christ. He said, When we were hiring, your own family members have not bothered to help you out. Someone comes out na I am one person who connects people. One time, there is a young lady we were helping. I happened to talk to Mama Nkemba. That is Esther for you when I'm connecting people who don't have jobs. So I talked to Mama Nkemba about the lady. She needed help. Mama and Kemba asked questions. I needed to understand Mama and Kemba and also understand the young girl. Mama and Kemba told me, I want you to research. Now she's telling me I am not in the country. She told me research about that girl. Who is she? 
where does she come from who knows her why is she doing that there is nothing as annoying as very frustrating when you bring a thief in a company it is you who makes the losses people stopped helping people because we have wrong characters and I understood Mama Nkemba very well. Mama Nkemba talked to the girl and the girl was not open. With Mama Nkemba, if you're not open, we don't discuss. You want help, you have to get open. I tried to help the young girl and she doesn't know me, by the way. The girl didn't know me. The girl got num my number from a particular group. The girl saw me how I was interacting on that group. It was a kids' church group for teachers. Then I approached another person and I talked to the person. And the person went ahead and they connected the girl. This girl was not working. When you don't have a job, you don't have a choice. When you get to a level of being desperate, you don't have a choice. I network, I connect people. And I always tell my people when I send them someone, I know this person from here. But when I connect to that person, I don't know your character. So whoever takes you on, I tell them that. So that they know exactly what they are getting themselves into. We love helping people, but people have taken away that privilege. I, Esther Solomon, I cannot stop. I am a girl who talks to the Lord and we pray. And I've connected many people and they are doing well. Those whose character is wrong because they, they say they are saved, but they did not change, they have lost. And it's not my fault. I do my part. That's how I serve God. People who don't want to help people will never even dare look there. And me, I don't hold them against it, no? I don't. Why? We are different. I am a girl raised by a father and a mother who raised other people. We, when we start on you, the only time we lift our hands... If you're not married, the only time will stop is when you're married and you've gone into your own house. But when you're still under my father's roof, we share what we have with you. You have children, they're not going to school, we find a way of helping you. You don't have a job, we connect you when we can. If we can't, we let it go. That is how my parents have been serving the Lord. For 46 years. Those are things I've done. And people have not understood me. Because they don't know me. And they don't know where I come from. And some think that I don't learn. When God calls you. You don't do as man wants. You do as God instructs. When I give you an opportunity. And you play with it. It is your fault. I don't lose as a person. You are the loser. That one, I will emphasize it. You're the loser. And when I'm sending you anywhere, I tell you, go and work. Know who you are. Know what you're going through. But if you go there and you mingle with the people you met there, and things go south, when whoever I connected you to fires you, trust me. I will just get my my bar, my granola bar and enjoy my city one away. When I connect you, I I see with how I, I, I keep monitoring you but you'll not know how I monitor you. Because me, I don't ask you how much money you're getting, no? When you have a problem, I send it on any group that is common, that they know you. And I'm like, please, who has a job? We need help. Our friend needs help. And I send messages. 
and uh, I sit and wait for response. Someone is sick, I send messages to groups that so and so is sick, we need some money, please. Here a pass, here a pass, and I say here a pass, all the time I come back to remind you. Then when people are not doing or reacting, I keep quiet. I go do my things in private, and I sort you out. Then people stop seeing me on the group asking for here a they are like, eh, what happened? I have already sorted the problem. And some of us are problems to others, so that's how I roll. Continue. Some of you, you fail to work because you have things from your family altars that are following you. Ape wamwe temukola. Katibuli mlimu joge na toyakala kolo tuke yungagamba. Atende madi notanka mkwano. Penat nze katichino kanchiku gambe nga sichirumie mabinsi for 37 years. And very few people understood that part about me. And some people could not stay with me in a relationship because of my health. No man wants to spend their money in hospital. For 37 years. Yeah, yes. And some people said, I am a servant. I Esther, you confess it. I am teaching you, helping people who are going through what I'm going through. Because for you, you are not helping them. You don't study the environment when you're teaching. Do you think I want to be sick? Trust me. I had chosen to run away from this assignment. You have no idea. But it is because you don't read the Bible, you don't know the things. I, Esther Solomon, and Dimlamu Zenzunga, Ninga Gamizos. Zemanyu Yumjavi, and Zemanya Yaza, Denzemanya Fidi, Duan Zemanya in Nembaga, Yenzemanyu, the Chimataina, Murimu, Yenze, Uyo, Avana Varwa, De Yenze, Uyo, Zewentio. Katika tona na gamba, esta tu mkoze tu chia tu mteka kwa speedy governor, over. <laughs> na mkoze sa mwamu njini ni mteka kwa speedy governor, nemba wana guju. <laughs> nemba wana. Verses 24, for this, for in this hope we were saved by faith, we have finished that one. Verse 25, but if we hope for. What do we do not see? We wait eagerly for it with patience and composure. But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait eagerly for it with patience and composure. In the same way, the Spirit sometimes comes to us and helps us in our weakness. Sorry, <laughs> my jaw is tired. Yet it has to work because that is where my healing is. And that is something people did not understand and said I talk a lot. I left the country without talking. I never said bye to you. I left when I'm a sick girl. To get where I am. Because I don't think any of your child can handle what I've gone through. Because too many jen food day. Mikwano jang in Ivangamba and Ziva Senteza when Badim Banti Narwala. Ngechin to chin kuba guaksat. Nemba to no janingamba baba. Katim kwano wango kola wobati. Ma, no nya maski jeli kwa ngoge na kogele vintu ngato ina evidence o swali ide na kuzino kati wewe vila yo newe simba mwesta soro mengo mwa iti zango yukiri tali yo swala wika <laughs> tuwa kumanyi ila kati ewe vya vintu evi nyambie to come up straight i had to the only way you win is when you fight yourself that is how washington won he fought his great grandfather how through prayer 
Nentuleno ni ngamba mkama wanted, wanted them my solution. Rachin di my solution. Rachin zege wagobaganya. Aunt Esther, you have my work to do. Ni ngamba, okay, Jose. Continue. Verse 26. In the same way, the Spirit comes to us and helps us in our weaknesses. We do not know what prayer to offer or how to offer it as we should, but the Spirit himself knows our need and at the right time intercedes on our behalf with signs and groanings too deep for words. Every day I talk, my joke comes back. I struggle with words. That is how you got the word waweru. Olia yochikoze so waza waweru. Waweru comes from a girl who has been sick. Me, I don't have a problem. You can use the word kubanga chilina ama futa. Aba chitegera beba chikoze sa voka. Nzi jemba tusagane, tusagane, tuita wone oba totumanyi, totusagana awe. Sometimes when my job drops ebigambo ne bibula ne tanko kunana agira because i was never supposed to talk omsawo yagamba tamanyirwa chindi muradde ne muga muri ne ngamba there is no way you diagnose witchcraft but how do we fight this ne nchuwa yesu ngabana baba bantu bagenda kunzita there are times I feel and when I don't release, I can die. Katijukira, I am releasing these things in front of people who don't know me, who don't understand me. Nengambo moyo mtukubu we ya ayu mama ya njigiriza estavuzo moyo mtukubu. Katinjeno ndino moyo mtukubu nyamba abo. Aba itamu chempi tamu. I know there is someone out there. Go over to chitamu it is well. Don't even stress yourself. Don't you worry. But I'm telling you don't fall victims. Death is on the rampage. Stay inside. 40 year olds I told you to hide in 2020. The devil wants you like crazy. You need the spirit, but you need the fruits of the Holy Spirit. You don't just talk about them. They've talked about patience. I did not know how to be patient. I learned how to be patient in 2015. When I want you to do something and you take your time, Ogendo kudanga nchikoze. Hmm. Yes. Nidamu kalika baka itaka segu ya. Bampita ne sinegu ya. Nza kastangu sabe chintu and you dili dali. We no gamba tuja kulava. Muna ngo gendo kudanga nchimalirisa. Sima nyukuli ndi didavlu nju. Na yemu kama agenda njigilize. Run na yiga. Because you don't learn knitting when you're not a patient person. That project of knitting in 2015... When I met sweaters, I learned to be patient, very patient, because I was raised by a man and a woman who are very patient with people, who give people opportunities. They fall and they lift them up, they fall and they lift them up, until when you're straight up. And what is so funny, I've given many people many opportunities when they've done me wrong and all the times every time they do things that are wrong in my life like forgive i i ignore and i'm like ah that is something very small nze estanga nako bikuli deka kan kevin to yabantu yebakoze mbula mu bango genda kudu kamuli mune tata onne mama o manatu ate mama one tata ote bamanyi ko etonda Bagende yo newe nenyeze yonga veko yesi. Eo anti woje bakuli da tebaba gama tino wakole enso vingo kozo mtu obubi weto onda. Ah ah. Enso nyibazi fulo usungu. 
Oh, chitegede. Katetenze jena kulida tu gamba. Muna nge nsawa kunso nyuwa. Nsawa kunso nyuwa sichadamu. Ate wengama tisawa kunso nyuwa. Necha nyinzo chidamu. Elane kwa wane ngamba nsawa kunso nyuwa. <laughs> Katete sako moko. Nenji go kunso nyuwa. Rachibuli omwa sovya. Nene yongira ino vulambu. Angeche have been able to work with very many people. Lavo si gaba ya bitundu. Yesu te ya ngamba gaba ya bitundu. Tugende masu. Otherwise, omo yom tiku vajaku tu yamba. Verse 27. And he who searches the heart knows what the mind of the spirit is. Because the spirit intercedes before God on behalf of God's people in accordance with God's will. Omo yom tiku vamanyo lugendo roje lugendo kukwela. Nga tonete kamu jurumi vana genze ngenda abrodi kukola buzo moyo mutu kufu Mugenda genda abrodi tubilavye okumero mkofini <laughs> Anti te wabuza katonda Eri jogenda si wajaja u Ona amerika uomu lete da ketumba Oja kumote gira Vali kuno bakaba Amerika wasingiro nyiganga to ina mpapula Wana amerika teri gobe rana yomu nyumba no su semya ke satungo tu domo liranga lo mama. Kabe mama uba genda kufurumia. Hmm. Ole kamana. Tunze nesa vila mkama ni mugamba. In 2018 ni mkama mkama. I want to start staying alone. It was my prayer. It was my prayer. That one I will not even lie about it. I was like Lord. Because I love things things my way. Now when I'm in a, in a space that is not mine, I do what they do. And I don't like doing what I don't want to do. Mm. You see, now this hair, I did it to myself. I have to force myself to learn. Because plating hair, if you don't have a hundred dollars and above, my friend, that is a potato. So, I learned to do my thing, organize myself, and I fly higher. Oba baganda ba mwe family members, oba genze, neba gula bi wiga, neba, muku anu, nze wenyamba la wigi o mtuwe gunuma. Awa ba kwe wanya, bobola ba ina abami. Umami ya mteka mukasi. Nze se comparing, I enjoy when I'm seeing people driving very good cars and everything. Na hika tinza yu na vila vada. Atewa kola vikole. O chiteke ze chintungecho. Nza jena kuli la watu gamba waka hard and get things on merit. Katumuna angi. Nja kubala vawa mugenza kubichi ya baboti kuruzi. Mbila veno ne mnyumiru wa neseka ne ngueli. Katiba nafa vali yeka. Neva kube mimiru ni agaba nangu obulamu. Mkwano obulamu bula wabagawi wakubuli da mazima. Aba mbafu mbila wasaji ya vaina senti. Ata aba mbaba isi wako wesi vige mazima. Teba aba kwana. Betega. Aba wala beba kwana baba jia Uganda. Hmm. Ni baba tuwala. Ata wa mbetega. Baba sange mbibala. Ge mazima. Mbulida wa ntua mazima. Bale moku bale moku bale mirako. Nange ntua lewe. Nange ntua lewe. Omu bia jia kutu wala. Tulina wa bina wa denku njimiza. Bwe na sange e Nashville. E Tennessee. Musajia mkade. Nangamba I can take you. Lava weba kutu wala. Atenga nempa pula. Kwanga kapapula kankali katukila kwa adresi. Lawo beba antu wala nga sina na mpapula. Ndoza mune ngeroro. Umzungu antu wala ya. Limuzungu kukaeja niye njini ya njini na henga mzei. Yansanga kwe ya poti. <laughs> hey, dot joko. Ate ya lianchi maya jaleti. Kwanga mzungu ya nida. Na ngamba, okay, let's wait. In case they don't come, I'll take you. Konze, okay. Hey, nyabu. Namba ni namba ye. Siku luise yo. Nga. Tuasigala tuogera. Mpola mpola. Katibwe mve Norensville. One week and three days nemba yo. Nga time ya ye wedeko. Nembuza mkama tulagawa. Nangamba kati Virginia. 
Mukama Yayan Sindike, Virginia. It was a loud voice in the morning. Estarachu Avayo, Wango Bamunangi. Never chukola in a diplomatic manner. And so we jeva kola kwe kunjo gerako. Neve kwasa. Evi gambo biata ambula. Neviva mutawa ni wawe kwe vama nyira. Nage nanga njo gerake yonte wawe wane mandi mwade wade vya ako zebitia. Imwe si wako evi gambo biata ambula ni ngambo. Mwoko la wabadichi. Haba na Uganda mgenda genda mgeno mtuwe mba temu mwagala temu mwagala koo mwumulekele. Beba nsawa ugende wawe nze saba saba konze na lingenda California. Mm. Na yewe vyo nawe baba wako ugela kote wabi ugela mbantu. Katia chivozi na chitambula estalia yo yesi wako bantu. Na ngamba hii hii manangi. <laughs> Mkama na ngamba gendo ontelelezwe kubanga chila ikaba na Uganda wafuse ziki. Because of Antwanji Bali kuno naiva nyi gida vana, whatever son you wang, whatever cool young gave you, whatever cool imba. But you ramble and get a go kazo go one jog, get a kogo sad jog. A chin says, I van jog get a cocatiba and yi gida, Nangamba mujakova runji. Go in the token and no get a nava and no bagam baby cham. Nze Esther Solome when Naja, and to our step off the side of the story, my side. Ninja Kujiva, what in the Sera Vida? Cutting over the Mugamba. Every day, your Nanga began say, before Savi Jarero, forget, forget, and move on. And in my mind, I'm like, you left a wrong information about my name. You tarnished my name out here. People still call me a thief. <laughs> Everyone has their own story. I want to have a little fish. Your man, a little fish never cut the winning and bag and be a or gamble and cut away can say, Sir, what? Tabola wants a bad cat, you want to banja gala. Nangamba, one can't say you say yes to custom with my vita and the casins and our gamba. Nays and Nalino Bass on your Kuanga van of a Mosaga of a very name calling. Cutting some messaver, the same thing. <laughs> when you continue with the thing. You've learned nothing. <laughs> and you won't change. I am a game changer. Uncle Gambi, too. Again, no, Ganda Quay, Smanya, Uganda diaspora. Only resembles Yava, Doganda Gwedi. Ogambe, what? Katia Bam never for no Mutimo, Mubina Gamba, Gawala, Yenda Kukola, and Ayazo, Kuyambo, and Uganda on Kitchen. But yeah, you are better be with us and we were Mamma, we were Simon Moso said, I see Mamma Sam, but Neka Tins and getting Tinch call I am changing it. No Jacunavan to never quake our mercy. Taya got the Vagara of Una and Ziwa. I was like, hey, 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 America, and welcome to America, and I come. Well, when I do Virginia. Nemba tegeza mkama vya lia gambi, ene nsilika na yawe kate tuwa wa gamba. Tevachi tegeza. Elawa mbali banyikira. Okugende wawe. Banyiga faka 2020. Ela nechifu vutuka ni nchidawa. Nengamba. Hii, murokuri. <laughs> Gwe kanku yambe. Owe mkwano jo na jigenda. Ngela siga za yesu mwana. Nenze sige na kola bintu vicha mze ndi mweleza wa mkama na iti wa. Nze sata wange tagenda kufa. Ne mange, ne wato wange. Mbu because of you. Apana sijuji. Temu manji na jetuva, temu manji na jetuvele. Temu manji wa nafe tukava sukari government yetu yambe. <laughs> Ndeka. Katona ya ngamba Esther Vinkwats. Konze kale sefu. Yeah, young is to back up myself. At an ending and a cause of back up with Javampa, then I juk by you, Nanaju Bow. Nangamba, follow me. The battle belongs to the Lord. Nangamba, okay, let us move. Catisija Kava, Ruli. I'm putting it in the riches when I cut your young free. As I conclude. My prayer life 
changes my life every step of the way. Now, I, when I talk about something, I am teaching others not to fall victims of the same things. Other people leave others. Nebachi guamu. Nze esta solome. Jenakuli dobuwele zawa fe. We correct the mistake and we make sure no one falls a victim again. That is how we serve God. We talk about the bad and we make sure we help someone not to do it again. Hence, we help you to learn to forgive. We've gone through phases that have taken us to a level ngato yinza kusonywa. Na yebu haba yesu ya kuyita. We had to. How? Through the Holy Spirit. Verse 27, And he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because the Spirit intercedes before God on behalf of God's people in accordance with God's will. Verses 28, and we, you can read Psalms 139 and verses 1 and 2. Verse 28, and we know with great confidence that God who is deeply concerned about us Causes all things to work together. Whether they've done what or what in your life. If you don't forgive. No one. Let me tell you something. This business of people telling you forgive, forget and move on. They don't forget. Bababa wa wujuri zobi ulida. Nagamba hmm. Sajyo liche yankola. Takuwa linya. That means they never, for, you can't forget. The only one who can help you forget is the Holy Spirit. Ata achijamu na achituwala nga chima zoku terera. Na ye katonda kuitamu area yamba abantu not to make the same mistakes. That thing is going to come back. Chochorachi nabagamba, when you're working with people, ask yourself, who is this? Is it a boy or a girl? Good. Have they been to school before? Because that's, that, those are things that help me to work with people. Have they been to school? And yes. What courses did they do? Which tribe do they come from? I told you your name, your tribe, hmm? your, your calling, hmm? your totem, hmm? your wakiran, your country influence you. And if these six don't rhyme, you're in trouble. These ones are going to fight your calling. If your calling does not rhyme with the five, if the fivefold ministries cannot work together, understand each other, they are in trouble. Not all apostles are the same. The apostle all have, they have a work to do for God. But each apostle has a talent, has a gift, different age, a sex, male or female. They come from particular families. They have names. But they will not teach the same one. Careful, because they are called in different areas as much as the apostles. Same with teachers, same with apostles, uh, pastors, same with, with prophets, same with evangelists. When we understand those dynamics, we are going to be happy. Any leader, find out the kind of leader. Some leaders can talk, some cannot talk. Some, they give orders. And they are part of the team. Some are bosses and they think they are leaders. How old is that person? What experience do they have? Do they understand what leadership is all about? If you don't understand all those things, I want you to ask the Lord to help you. Because he knows our hearts. He searches the hearts. When I'm silent, you will not know anything about me. Trust me, ask around. That is why many are still struggling with me. Verses 28, and we know with great confidence that God who is deeply concerned about us 
causes all things to work together. God knows you, knows where you're going, knows your destiny, knows your history. He's the only one who can correct your history. If you give him the opportunity. The devil loves repeating history. God ends history. If we allow him to do so. But if you're walking in the same things you've been doing years back and you continue with them, trust me. Uganda is making 60 years. But we look like we've gone back 30 years ago. We look like we are 36 years behind. And we know and we know with great confidence that God who is deeply concerned about us causes all things to work together as a plan for good for those who love God to those who are called according to his plan. <laughs> And the purpose, not your plan, according to God's, God's plan. And purpose, not your plan. The challenge we are having, we make plans for ourselves. And they are not good, part of God's plan. Before you make your plan, find out whether it is part of God's agenda. I, Esther Solome, I had written out the map of my life. Don't joke, or is the jokers. And in 2015, the Lord sent me a message and said, Esther, stop writing your story. Allow me write it. Where I am today, it is God writing the story. I stopped. Because every time I wrote my story, I ended up in circles and being a loser. Since I got tired of being a loser, I want to win. It is God in the driver's seat. Verses 29, for those whom he first knew and loved and chose beforehand, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son and ultimately share in his complete san san sanctification so that he would be the firstborn, the most beloved and honored among many believers. I will stop there for today. Go read those scriptures, especially verses 28 and 29. It is God who searches the heart. You want to do something today? Ask God about it. Don't just do things because others are doing them. How I came to the U.S. is not the way you came here. We do things different. I cannot do what you do. When I try to do what you do, give me go. Emi go nji wudi jida mu health ngeta. Kuse ne ngambani. Ah, bana ndeka. Bana nge mkole. Nja kuwa sanga. Kuwanga nza assignment yange kutasa Uganda. Katia hii yengeli nti siya kutasa Uganda ya kwe kusa. Kago bako. Katia yengeli nti nze nkoyo kula bango ofa. Kankolo guamu kamole mekufa. <laughs> to all watchmen out there. Kago baka muimba gala nyo. As I wind up. Up and conclude. Katri in Bemulu no Yimba. Nant Katia tell me not copyright. I tell no Yimba. Bole come on up. Each one of us has an assignment in the season. I will continue to warn you. The season is bad. Death is on a rampage. It does not matter where you're seated. Uganda, you're the pearl of Africa. It is a nation of the crossroad. It is 38 years now. The message is 27. Get the book and help yourself if you're Uganda. Whatever is happening to us, whatever you're seeing going on as Ugandans abroad and home, is all in that book of Dr. Mlinde. 
everything I've told you since 2020 is unveiling and unveiling all the time. All the difficulties you're seeing and you're blaming it on government, God warned you. You don't attend my classes and you fall victims. But since you're going to I pray don't fall a victim. To gain a mock it over. Ababa deva kola Halloween and your Ugandans, please stop. Molekera okuzuk saba fu. Mutuyambe. Echin to chocolate, it's not about fun. I want you, you to ask guys in Europe. They understand Halloween very well. And they hate it with a passion. Molekera okole bin to yemoko pedida. Oh, Mujisha. Kunkunda Yesu. Na ye wabo ulido ya gala genda ma. So making a show of a fuba feto bazuku lisam. Kwange liya bafanga teba gala. Na Yesu. Omujisha hii. Kwanga baba tabusi. Tweba zomuju ni Yesu. Cantola nahe. Omunyanko le siche chizivu omuganda. Tusoko tisoti ngo omuganda. Rehame ii. Tuiwa jomo joni yesu. Because the president of Uganda is seated in a seat of a king. And it's full of blood. Started by from Chintu. Uganda was never supposed to have presidents. It was supposed to be like the UK. Omunyanko le no mulu gwa la ba gwa mu panchi yomuganda. Ato wakabina kam nene gwa ba. Why he has sat on that seat for that long? We are not listening. His time, yagwa koda, fetu mwongera yobuli sawa. Luhanga kantora nawe. If Uganda, you listen, God has the new one for the seats. Tuewa zomu juni yesu, luhanga kantora nawe. Kane ya gale, hevali mbura wa zinga. Musi mawa gens. Weba gamba wa awati imbile njimba za. Yo mujisha ye. Na yesu. Before you conclude on anyone, now get to know who they are. All of us don't move with our history out. Ngaliku ku our sleeves. Neda mkwanu. Omogisha yei. Nishem. Tuewa zomu juni yesu. Sibuli agende welu nti wafuka nansi. Tebaina jivachi wandik. Buli omu ya jako lulwe. Mushemere rahame. Tuewa zomu juni yesu. Yes, Wabanjagadide. See you when I see you. I pray for you that you live long to see your kids graduate. You don't know your destiny. Do I, yes? Hey! I remembered my friend Michael in 2019. We quarreled. And he was like, I am not doing this. I'm like, you'll do it. I did not know that today, Micah Jacoba Motaka, he was buried on 4th of August. 
Bietu ate sane mugambo bikola ya bikola. Nalisi mainti ya bikola ya vanawe. Ya nyiga na gamba sijane mugamba you will. Nawe wakole nsobi. Sawa ya kusonyiwa. Katikole ya vana. I am proud that chena mugamba ya chikola. I am sad that is not here to see all that. Kuwanga tetuwa manya akonti ya genda kera kumache moto ke mkube. Kuwanga accident jeyeko li date ya fa. That is how he got to know me. I have advised many people. Ne mugamba to kolavot, kolavot, chiamba gwe. Ababi koze they are happy. Ababi ganye they are crying. Te mama nyanga rachi mbi kolanga bamba luita lugezi gezi ya. Yagalo kufuri lida vuri lida. You don't know me. Katonda ya manye chijoku jamaso. And every friend of mine that has taken my word into consideration. Hehehe. Omu jisha. Me I. Let me just go. Mukoza abana bamwe to be to get to that level. Abamba gani mano ya gerango mukadira cha ugere vintu vya bakulu. Taiva somo jani yesu muhanga kantola na. Rakwa abantu teva ugere mazima. Abantu teva juki danga bama zokutoka. Nae nzema na kolo muri mugua mukama. Nza uluran kula wangoli hape nkola buko ziwenzi. Kantora na. Yesu wa njagalire. Yesu wa nkumire. Unge nkono metabuse. Chengu sabida tofakati. Kubangoli na habana. Buono genda. Ebya bintu wabi kuera za sawa zeno. Familia ye genda kubidia. Tuba manyi tuba labie. Waluwe bintu vye nari nino kufuna neba kade vange. Tetuwa vila bako pakalero. Netutu sasa wenu nga tata taina anju. Ngeri ya batu deku taka. Ngali ina kubali ya fe. Kale mwana, let me sign out. Kati olio yogamba, nko zanyava na vange mba kore de bank account. Yanko sambwa na tora kasente nzenjo kubolida. Omlamu ya kola. Weva zomu jani yesu, kantora nawe. Facebook wena jane kachiko kokoro lui imba sija kwe unya. Kantora nawe. As I say bye, let me sing this one, my local language. Nja kunye mire danga ndinze ka mwana ya mwana ya fufu tukayo nangeji ya fufu tukasima niyo sizi sate ya zoveji msinge miaka msaveli di. Eh, that is it image. Kati mwosinza mwana as of today but mboza yo mwenzi kumuna genko one mwana tunangene ya gari. Buli ali kusate ku AC full of vako please continue ahead. Leave my space alone. Ndijene ya gari wachi need. Anti abana bawala bati okogere miyaka jabu. Kubanga ebintu nabitereza. Wera ba. Esa tutu jikisa tutu jikisa jeja onge ya fedda. Nkwe taga buli jo. Buka mowe chisa.
Uganda. We are the pearl of Africa. You're making 60 years, but you don't want to look a loser. I am telling you that. At 60, what have you added to the country? Apart from subtracting. I've had people cry, the president of Uganda is so so What do I bring on the table? Am I a complainant? Because our job as Ugandans is to complain all the time. You don't pay attention, you don't attend anything. Your part is to complain when you add no value to our well-being. I, as a person, I am tired of working with people who complain when they bring nothing 
on the table. I am waiting for those who want to stand in 2026. I am waiting for you here, Mkwano. Na yenga cho yeche cho yesu avanja galire. Avanza nisize mkamabere wa muna mwe. Banange musive bulonji. Grace and shine. Tofayo jakula vanga ngeze. E, muna asonyi wa timing yange. Muna ange wetu. I am seven hours behind home. And uh, yes, because right now it is uh, 10.59 a.m. That is why our time is a challenge. But mkama sigala mlunji, ava njagalide. Tukole katonda chatu gamba so that we can get out of this together. Otherwise, I am out. God bless all of you. Have a lovely Wednesday. Ava sami zeteva kula ku Wednesday. Mugende mwe ya gale. Bye bye.